around the world. The Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is a large place of worship. It is in the Vatican Palace in Rome, Italy. The palace is home to the Pope. He leads the Catholic Church. The chapel is used for masses and more. It was built more than 500 years ago. There are famous paintings on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. They are called frescoes. An artist named Michelangelo painted them on plaster. He stood on a tall wooden platform and reached above his head to paint. It was hard work. His paintings tell stories from the Bible. Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is in Paris, France. Millions of people visit the Eiffel Tower each year. It is named after the man whose company designed it. It was built for the 1889 World's, World's Fair. At first, people thought it was ugly, but now it is a beloved symbol of France. The Eiffel Tower is in a big park, the Champ de Mars. It is the tallest structure in Paris. It is made of strong wrought iron. There are three levels for visitors. At the top level, visitors have a bird, bird's eye view of the City of Lights. Pyramids of Giza there are three pyramids close together near Giza, which is in Egypt. The Great Pyramid is the oldest and biggest of the three. It was built more than 4,000 years ago. It is one of those seven wonders of the ancient world. It was built as a tomb for a pharaoh, king, named Khufu. It took at least 20,000 workers to build the pyramid. They used two million blocks of stone, and it took them 20 years. Nobody knows how they move those heavy blocks. Near the pyramids is the Sphinx. It is a statue of a strange creature with a lion's body and a human head. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty stands for freedom. It's a statue of, of a goddess. She wears a robe and crown. She holds a torch and a tablet. The birthday of the United States is written on the tablet. Broken chains lie at Lady Liberty's feet. She stands in Liberty Island in New York Harbor. She welcomes visitors from all over the world. France gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States in 1865 to celebrate democracy. The statue has an iron frame. Copper covers the outside. Air turned the copper green. Visitors can climb stairs to the inside of Lady Liberty's crown. The Colosseum. The Colosseum is an ancient amphitheater in Rome, Italy. It is the largest one ever built. It could seat more than 50,000 people. It was built over 2,000 years ago. It is made of stone and concrete. People back then want, went to the Colosseum for fun. They watched people fight. The fighters were called gladiators. They fought until somebody died. Sometimes criminals were killed at the Colosseum, too. There were also animal hunts, pretend battles, and plays. Today, the Colosseum lies partly in ruins. Earthquakes damaged it, and robbers took some of the stone. But many people still visit it today. Stonehenge About 5,000 years ago, some people put a bunch of huge stones in a ring. They put some stones on top of other stones. They made a monument. This took over a thousand years. The prehistoric monument they built is called Stonehenge. It is in Wiltshire, England. It still stands today and is very famous. There are lots of mysteries about Stonehenge. How did these people lift these heavy stones? Why did they put the stones in that pattern? People who had died were probably buried there. Stonehenge might also have been used for worship and healing. Great Wall of China The Great Wall is like a giant dragon winding across China. It is over 13,000 miles long. It's the world's tallest, longest wall. It crosses deserts, grassland, mountains, and plateaus. It was built to protect people. It is tall and thick. Tor towers and fortresses are built into it. The Great Wall was built in sections by many groups of people. It took over 2,000 years to build. Many people died working on it. Over the years, big pieces of the Great Wall have disappeared. Wind and rain have worn down some parts. People have also damaged the wall, but you should visit if you go to China. You can even walk along the top of the wall. Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal may look like a palace, but it is really a mausoleum. That's a building where tombs are placed. The Taj Mahal is in Agra, India. An emperor built it in 1632 to hold the tomb of his favorite wife. The building also has a mosque and a guest house. Much of it is made out of white marble. Jewels were inlaid in the marble. It costs a lot of money to build. Millions of people visit the Taj Mahal every year. They go there to learn about history and how some very rich people lived and died. Leaning Tower Pizza. Pisa. Can you keep this tower from falling? The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a church bell tower. It is in the city of Pisa, Italy. It was built in 11, 1173 and took 200 years to finish. The tower began to tilt while it was being built. The ground was too soft on one side. 
but that soil later helped the tower survive four earthquakes. Over time, the tower leaned more and more. Finally, work was done to keep it from falling, but nobody wants to make it stand up straight. Petra. Imagine a city carved out of rock. That's exactly what Petra is. Petra is an ancient city built some 2,000 years ago in the desert in southern Jordan. The people who used to live in Petra have disappeared. We don't know much about them, but people who study the past try, keep trying to learn more. They dig around in the earth looking for clues about this lost civilization. The ancient people of Petra were known for their engineering skills. They invented a very smart way to get water to the 30,000 people who lived here. Pyramid of the Sun The Pyramid of the Sun is an ancient Mexican city. The city is Teotihuacan. It is said to be almost 2,000 years old. Its massive size makes it the third largest pyramid in the world. The people who lived there were called Aztecs. It took them 100 years to finish working on the pyramid and covered it with brightly colored paintings. The pyramid still stands today, but the paintings did not last. People who study the pyramid are still searching for more clues about why the pyramid was built. If you visit, you might come up with your own ideas. Easter Island Easter Island has another name, Rapa Nui. That is its native Polynesian name. The island is part of Chile, but it is all by itself in the Pacific Ocean. Easter Island is famous for its statues. There are almost 1,000 of them. The people who lived there hundreds of years ago carved them out of volcanic rock. They used stone hand tools. The statues are shaped like great big heads with little bodies. The people who carved the statues were called Rapa Nui, just like the island. We are not sure how they moved the heavy statues. Each statue stands 13 feet high and weighs 14 tons. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu sits high on a mountain ridge in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It is a citadel, a fort, or castle. It is made of polished rocks that fit perfectly together. The Inca people built it over 500 years ago. They had no wheels to move the heavy rocks. They had no iron tools, but they figured out a way to do the job. About 100 years later, the Inca people left when invaders from Spain showed up. The, the invaders didn't find Machu Picchu. Jungle grew over it. Most people forgot about it. But a man named Hiram Bingham found it. Other people started visiting, and people are still visiting today. Angkor Wat Angkor Wat is in Cambodia. A king built it nine centuries ago to be his temple. The name means temple city. Angkor Wat is one of the world's largest religious monuments. At the center of the temple are four towers surrounding a fifth tower. The temple is famous for its beauty. The towers are shaped like lotus water lily buds. Inside it are many sculptures. There are also many carvings of gods and goddesses. Big Ben Big Ben is a very famous bell in a very famous clock tower in London, England. When most people say Big Ben, they mean the bell and the tower. But the tower's real name is Elizabeth Tower. It is named for the Queen. The building at the tower was finished in 1859. A giant clock was made to tell perfect time. It has to be wound by hand three times a week. That takes about 90 minutes. That's a lot of winding. Big Ben has become a cultural symbol of England. La Sagrada Familia The story of La Sagrada Familia is still being written. It's the story of a large church in Barcelona, Spain. Workers started building the church in 1882 and is still isn't finished. They are trying to finish it by 2026. That's not very far from now. The church was designed by an architect named Antoni Gaudi. He is known for his unique and fancy designs. Since work began, there had been many delays. It took time to raise money to pay for the church. Then there was a war. Then burglars destroyed part of the plans. There is still much work to left to do. St. Basil's Cathedral St. Basil's Cathedral is a famous group of buildings in Moscow, Russia. It used to be a church, but now it's a museum. It is in Red Square, the center of the city. Ivan the Terrible, a Russian leader from the 1500s, ordered the cathedral to be built. He wanted to celebrate a battle the Russian army won. The church was named after St. Basil, who did many things to help poor people. St. Basil's Cathedral is famous for its fancy shapes. The Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the world's most famous bridges. It is in San Francisco, California, in the United States. The bridge goes across a body of water called the Golden Gate, which connects San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. It is a suspension bridge. That means the part that cars drive on is hanging from cables. The bridge opened in 1937. Before then, people had to ride a boat across the water. The color of the bridge is reddish-orange. 
It was painted that way so you can see it better in the fog. There's a lot of fog in San Francisco. Also, it just looks pretty. You have probably seen it in pictures. It is an iconic symbol in the most photographed bridge in the world.